Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another Black Series 6 inch action figure review. I'm excited about this one, but beforehand, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do and uh, give this video a thumbs up. That would be so good. Um, that way you don't miss out on any of my stuff and I give you a random thumbs up all the time. Um, because I'm just super generous like that. We're looking at Kanan Jarrus, the updated version uh, from Star Wars Rebels. Um, yep, new new Kanan with uh, photo reel paint apps. Um, I'm going to be doing a comparison with the original. Um, yeah, really excited about some of these Rebels figures coming back out. I know most of the folks in, in the States have had them out for a couple of months now, maybe. Um, but yeah, we didn't get any retailers, aside from online retailers, get these in and they've been a little bit delayed, so better late than never. I'm really excited to um, finally flesh out the whole Rebels crew in their best forms. So stay tuned, we'll open him up and have a look. All right, here is Kanan Jarrus, a brand new version of, of Kanan uh, from the Black Series, looking fantastic. Um, the sole purpose for these few reviews will mainly to be um, to do a comparison of their uh, old counterpart, which, you know, they've had the photo reel update, which is fantastic. Because um, I have reviewed these figures before, I'm not going to spend too long on them. Just wanted to maybe just compare and see where some deco changes are, if any, um, from figure to figure. So we'll get a nice close up of Kane in here. And yeah, he's looking much much better so I'll just put him pop him there to the right and, and I'll put the uh, original one in next to him but, you know for the most part they're both they're both great figures um, but yeah the photo reel update certainly improves the figure they certainly took a down down some downward step once uh, Ezra Bridger came out um, and the only one I'm still waiting on is Sabine, so hopefully I'll have her in the next few weeks, um, and I'll do the same thing. So I'll have a nice comparison review for the two figures. Um, in terms of other deco, the figures are pretty much identical. Um, there's nothing else really going on. There's no real color differences or anything um, from figure to figure. They're both looking, um, yeah, pretty much identical. Just the new photo real paint apps on in here on the right so it's a very nice upgrade I'm really excited um, I can't wait to get all the crew together and have a bit of a team photo um, I could probably do use Sabine just keep her helmet on for the meantime so um, yeah looking forward to getting a bit of a team shot but yeah it does come with all the uh, Accessories, he comes with the uh, lightsaber, which is still sort of um, removable, pull apart -able, so you've got the groove in the back of his belt there for part of it, and that for the, uh, for the end. The blade is of course removable, but, um, <coughs> excuse me. Actually, now I think about it, no, that detail's always been there, I don't think I ever... Paid too much attention to the uh, Spectre 2 logo on the shoulder. I'm not sure if I ever noticed the, the O2 there, but that's cool. But yeah, I'm a real I'm a big fan of Kanan. I hope I hope we get some other versions of Kanan down the line. Um, so this is his blinded version and uh, short haired Kanan from the sort of tail end of season four. So you definitely let me know in the comments what you think below. Worth an update? Worth buying the figure again? You tell me. Um, I'm personally glad I did. So I'll leave it on that. And next we're going to take our look at Hera Syndulla. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. And until next time, may the force be with you. We're a little rushed. So if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.